To edit or annotate a PDF in DocHub and then submit it directly to your teacher via Classroom, you'll want to first open that PDF in DocHub. And you'll do that by clicking on the PDF and then from this Open With window, selecting DocHub from the menu. The first time you use DocHub, you may need to select your Summit account and you may need to allow DocHub permission to interact with Google Drive. You can feel free to go ahead and do that. Once you open up um, the PDF in DocHub, you'll have the full range of their tools available to you. So you're able to add a text box. You're able to um, utilize the pen tool. And the pen tool allows you to choose a pen, add shapes, add lines, or add arrows. If you add an arrow, know that you have to start from the tail end of where you want the arrow to go and then move toward what you actually want to point to. You can change the color of any of these tools. So if I want to change the color of that arrow, I simply select it and then choose a different color. You also have the highlight tool, and the highlight tool works by creating a box around the text and then making that box semi-transparent. If at any time you no longer want to be, notice that I've still got the, um, the cursor uh, insertion point to create another um, highlight box, if I want that to go away, I can simply click on the pointer tool. You can create comments, although I would highly recommend that instead you use the text box and place it where you want on the PDF. Um, and then, of course, you have the whiteout tool as well, which also places a box over the text, except that one is opaque and white. When you're all finished annotating or editing your document, you're going to want to download it to Classroom. So I know normally you would go to Share, but in this case, you're going to go to Download, Export, and you want to be sure that this version says current version, not original file without changes, but rather current version. And then click on Classroom, then click Create Share Link, click the Google uh, Classroom icon. You're going to want to choose the class you want to share it to, and then the assignment. Click Go, click Attach. And then it's important that you click view assignment. Don't skip this step because it's not just to see it. This is how you're going to turn it in so your teacher has access to it. If you don't turn that PDF in, your teacher won't have access to it. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it in. And then I'm going to switch over here to the teacher view. So now in the teacher view, if I open up that assignment, I can then see um, all of the students' work. I'm just going to refresh this. And now you can see that uh, Franny, in fact, has submitted her work. I'm going to go ahead and click this link to open it up. And now your teacher can see the edited version of your PDF.